So I want to talk about the disparity for our elected official salaries right now. And this is a hard conversation to have. It's been virtually impossible to get any traction on this issue since you've been chief. How many raises have the judges received? We got one, and we were so proud of that small percentage raise that we got. I can talk a little more comfortably about this now, Laurie, because, yes. you know, I've, I've told everybody I'm not running for re-election. This is my last year. So any increase in pay that the, that the elected officials would get uh, will, will be of no benefit to me. So my concern, really, is I feel like I can now speak on behalf of, of, of the judges and the clerks who are elected you know, and people will say, well, you ran for that office. You knew what it was going to be. But what I'm, I'm, I'm really concerned, I'm really concerned. Kentucky ranks at the bottom. Wait, Chief, when compared we, to our other states, we are, we are. 51st. Well, it's, it's, We're 51st 50. out of 55 states and territories. Well, that's right. I was going to say, how can, how can we be 51st if there are only 50? But you include, you loop in the District of Columbia and, and the territories, which we do in our, in our calculation nationwide, we are 51st in what we pay our, our judges. Oh, our, uh, our judges make on average $32,000 left, less than our other general jurisdiction circuit judges across the country, $32,000 left. Yes, yeah, so, so and, and the expectation of, of our judges, the performance level is, is the expectation is that they're to do, you know, a high level of performance. And, and I, it is important for the future of this of, of the commonwealth One of that that we attract the, the best and the brightest everybody wants the best and the brightest to be their judge on their case That's it's right. that important well, and, I had and, and if we are rock bottom if we are the bottom of the barrel when it comes to compensation then how can we ever expect in the future to to attract the best and the brightest lawyers to leave private practice and come uh, to work in the judiciary. What we don't want are those people who need that job. Yep. You know, what we, what we don't want, uh, uh, you know, what, what we what we do want would be the best and the brightest women and men to be willing to give their time. And, and right now, we don't compensate that way. There is no financial reason. Uh, for anybody, how can they afford uh, if they've got to support a family, one educate our, their children? One of our uh, talented um, judges who, who really came on the trial bench when I think you became chief in 2008, I became director in 2009, and she said to me, I certainly didn't take this job because I thought I was going to become rich. I didn't take the job because of the money. But she said, if you had told me 15 years later that we wouldn't even receive a cost of living increase during the time I've served on the bench, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have believed you or believed it. I, I, there's just something that we have to do and approach this. It has to be reasonable.